If you have any interest in the world outside your window, there is probably a book by Roger Torrey Peterson on your shelf. He is an interpreter of all the creatures who have wings to us who are bound to the earth. And he is the most successful such interpreter. 500, 12,000. At $12,000 now at 12,000. 500, 13,000. At thirteen thousand dollars now at the desk at thirteen five. Fourteen thousand at fourteen thousand dollars now at fourteen five. Fifteen thousand at fifteen thousand dollars now at fifteen. Audubon was Roger Torrey Peterson's spiritual grandfather, but Audubon prints are so rare and expensive that most people can never own one. Fifteen thousand five hundred dollars then in fair warning. Fifteen thousand five hundred. What we know about birds today, Roger Torrey Peterson is likely to have told us. The new fourth edition of his Field Guide to the Birds had bird lovers lining up recently in Boston, where the first edition was published nearly 50 years ago. Uh, back to New England? Is it, is it, uh, and then eventually back to New England, but... The um, first edition was a far cry from the present one. Uh, only 2,000 copies were printed and I was to receive no royalty on the first thousand. Uh, remember, this was the bot bottom of the depression. Um, 18 million people out of work, and uh, publishers were finding it difficult to sell books. But for some reason, the field guide just took off uh, almost immediately and was literally sold out within a week. And they scrambled about uh, and published another 3,000, which were soon gone. This uh, new printing is 300,000. That's a measure of Roger Torrey Peterson's preeminent authority. He has studied birds as Audubon did all his life. Unlike Audubon, he has studied them without shooting them first. But we, have, you know, we were out at this one reservoir and we had this peregrine just come in and start soaring over the swamp. You know the reservoir? If you go back more than 50 years, why uh, ornithologists would not accept records unless they were made over the uh, barrel of a shotgun bird in hand, but uh, it soon became evident that it was possible to identify almost any bird, almost at the limit of vision, if you knew one, two, or three things to look for on each bird. Uh, in other words, the field marks, as we called them. Some of the willets are coming into breeding plumage, and they're not so drab looking. Mm -hmm. And uh, since those days, why bird watching has just taken off. There must be at least 40 times the number of bird watchers today that there was uh, 40 or 50 years ago. Oh, so many, many, many. Plus the fact that I'm a far better painter than I was 30 or 40 years ago. The last time I revised the book was actually uh, 33 years ago. And uh, I paint so much better now that uh, simply I don't want to go to my grave with the with that, with, that, with that lot, I want new pictures. The new pictures were created in a Connecticut studio where the naturalist is surrounded by his subjects. Part of what I do is uh, simply memory. Um, I do take a lot of pictures. I use my own transparencies. I may not copy them. I think that's a bit dangerous. Uh, but I do use them as constant reference. So the, the, one of the uh, differences between a um, photograph and a, and a painting is that a photograph is a record of a split second, that moment. And uh, the painter uh, gives a composite of his, of his experience. Now, as far as the photography, I think that's the, uh, a kind of a... Uh, I like the hunting instinct, and I, I'm a, an obsessive photographer. Now, there's no need to, um, to um, take the life of a bird to enjoy the chase. You can do that with a long lens now. And uh, Audubon himself, I'm sure, would have used a, a long lens today uh, rather than his shotgun. In fact, he shot so many birds uh, in his day that he was almost uh, blood up to the elbows. Peterson and his wife, Virginia, worked together. She drew the range maps that are a feature of the new Peterson Field Guide to the Birds of Eastern and Central North America. Uh -huh. 
even when they are working, the Petersons find time to let their minds wander. They seem always to wander toward the same subject. Originally, I suppose I uh, react to the birds because they were such wonderful creatures. They could fly, go where they wanted to, when they wanted to. And I uh, wish that I could do that. I think I get even more of a thrill out of the beauty of birds today. In the old days, it was more of an e emotional thing that I couldn't quite explain. Today, it's more uh, of an aesthetic appreciation. And uh, there's some birds that just move me a great deal when I see them. A, a large colony of uh, penguins, for example. They're, they're such attractive things and such strange things. And uh, of course, the colorful birds uh, in the tropics are just fascinating because of the colors and their patterns. Roger Tory Peterson has achieved distinction Peterson's work has won him the highest of civilian awards, the Medal of Freedom. And he's done more. He has impassioned thousands of Americans and has awakened in millions across this land a fondness for nature's other two-legged creatures. <laughs> Assured his place in human history, Roger Torrey Peterson spends much of his time outside the company of human beings. An author, after all, must stay in touch with his collaborators. Richard Threlkel's cover story sifts new evidence of anti-Semitism when Sunday morning returns. <laughs>